So first card I pull is Obsessed. Then I have Spice of Life. We got Pull Up. And then we got Ride. I already shuffled the cards. So we got the Three of Pentacles clarifying. Well, we got Obsessed clarifying that with the Three of Pentacles. So there is somebody that is pretty much obsessed over you, Leo. But at the same time, I feel like there's a third party that could be holding on to them. Yes, they are obsessed with you, holding on to you. But I feel like someone else is holding on to them. And it could be somebody that they work with, Leo. It don't have to be. It could be somebody in their community that they are dealing with. Some of y'all, your person could be holding on to multiple people. It may not even be just one person. But at, at, at the same time, they still kind of like have some attachment to you, Leo. And they're using other people as a way to distract themselves from you. Some of you guys, this person could be going out, partying, drinking, you know, having a good old time with other people. And um, some of you guys is telling me that. Yes, they may have, they may be going out with friends and family members and stuff like that. But this is something that, I'm also hearing, this is something that that's not new. As far as them like drinking and smoking and doing the things that they do, you know, for excitement. Because Spice of Life with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like they've been doing this for, for a long time, Leo. You know, this is something that they have been committed to. You know, as far as going out and stuff, every, maybe they've been doing this before they met you, but it's telling me this person is still holding on to you, even though they seem like they're happy. Some of you guys, they could be in another relationship with somebody else. Like I said, even if they are dealing with multiple people, they still may be in a, in a relationship with somebody. But, um, like I said, this is only a distraction, you know, to get over you leo but i feel like this person could be coming back because we got pull up some of you guys this person may pull up on you at your house maybe it could be they could have a new car or they could come to your home with somebody else and pull up yeah this is somebody that's stuck on you but i feel like nothing has changed with them in their lifestyle Nothing has changed. Now, some of you guys, this person may not come yet because they're feeling stuck with their lifestyle, Leo. Due to, I feel like it has something to do with other people. Like I said, in the mix that they're dealing with. And on top of that, there could be other people that may not like the simple fact that this person is, you know, obsessing over you or holding on to you, Leo, because it's telling me that other people know about you, but I feel like there could be been other people that may have came against you and this person being together in a way. On top of them having other people from their past that they still was holding on to, but it is telling me that they do want to come forward if they have not. They do want to come forward, but they feeling stuck. Look, then I'll say that other people, lovers, yes, they have other people that that also is holding on to your person sexually. Like the people that your person is dealing with currently, because obviously you're in separation. The people that your person are dealing with, they're only for money and sex. I'm seeing that. They only coming together with these third parties for financial gain. And like I said, this is something that has been going on before they probably even met you. Maybe you just wasn't really aware of it at the time. Or maybe you did find out about it. But they, you know, after y'all split up, it's like they continue to, to go about that lifestyle, Leo. And, um, and it has something to do with other lovers that don't want y'all to be together. But it is telling me that they do want to, they do want to come back, Leo. Hold on one second. They do want to come back, Leo, and make it up to you, Leo. Some of you guys, person is going to come back. 
yes, they have not made no changes with their lifestyle, but they is going to come back with y'all. And they do. We got Rod right here. Some of you guys person could be wanting to ride you or you ride them. I don't know. Some of y'all, this could be a same-sex relationship. This some freaky shit, but... Yeah, it's because your person has been very devastated about the ending of y'all connection. Yup, they're still holding on to you. This is somebody that, you know, they feel... They don't feel like themselves. They don't. Yes, they may have ended it or you may have ended it, but they don't feel like themselves. They don't. They're still holding on because they want their peace. Where they at, Leo, no matter who they're dealing with on a sex-based level, they are not at peace with, they, with themselves. Obviously, we know that because they still could be... Like I said, they're still holding on to you. They st and, and it could just be the obsession of being with you. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I just feel like your person still needs to um, overcome some type of some type of changes, Leo. And you bring them a lot of peace. I feel like you do bring them a lot of peace, Leo. You do. But like I said, they're using other people as a distraction. They find it very difficult to get out of their old lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, some of y'all, they're going to end up pulling up after being stuck about, you know, making a move. Because they want to have makeup sex with you. It is what it is. That's what I'm seeing. Some of y'all dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio. You could be. Or a Gemini or Earth sign. Don't have to be. But, let's clarify and see what's going on. What else, Spirit? Yeah, your person has other people on riding like they cocktail that they are messing around with, Leo. You know? They they do. But this is something that they have always been doing before they met you. It's just that your person finds it very difficult to make these changes of letting these other lovers go, you know, because this is what they're used to. And then they depend on them financially. You see what I'm saying? But they do obsess over being happy with you, Leo, because they did have a lot of good times with you. And they do, they it's like they want to come back in and make it up to you. They do. They want to make love to you, Leo, whoever this is. Whether they actually physically come in and do this with you or whether they don't. They could just be thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing one or the other. So y'all just take what resonates. Okay, that's too many cards. Yep, they feel stuck when they're dealing with other people. But they do obsess about having a good life with you, Leo. Some of you guys may not be emotionally available anymore. This is somebody that went against their intuition when it comes to you. They may have not showed the love that they have for you, but they do love you, Leo. They kept it in. Some of y'all, like I said, fell in love with this person. They chose somebody that they don't love over you. But, like I said, they went against they 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 went against their will. They went against their emotions, Leo, and they still could be holding them back if they have not like physically came forward. And um. It's like somebody could be trying to make peace of the situation. And it, like I said, I feel like a lot of y'all may have, you know, became emotionally unavailable to this person because you did love them. Maybe you still do, but you you just not giving them that satisfaction. You're not letting them know that, you know, you're somebody's holding back their love and, and may not be ready to open up to you, Leo. But the more this person hold back how they feel about you, Leo, it's like, um, the more you're okay with it, though, you know, I feel like y'all, I feel like this is y'all energy, you know, gaining some type of peace of the situation to know that this person don't want to, I wouldn't say don't want to, They're, they may have showed you that they didn't love you, they may have showed you that they didn't want a relationship with you, Leo, but it's like you got to, to the point where you just don't care because you have peace, but let, let's see what else, what else with this person. So 
So yeah, your person went against the, the love that they have for you, Leo. Because some of y'all's person just wasn't ready for a relationship or a marriage. Some of y'all still married to this person. If this is somebody you dealt with before and y'all been together before, y'all still could be married to this person. But it's telling me this person is holding back their love. Some of y'all's person is trying to get their life together, but I just feel like at this point, somebody is not ready for a relationship because they could be stuck in a, in a marriage with somebody else or they're stuck in a another situation with somebody else trying to gain peace. But somebody thinks that sex is going to make things resolve itself, but... Yeah, this person thinks that it's like they're they're pretending to be happy, Leo. They feel like somebody. Okay, this could be you. I don't know. Reverse the energy if you have to. But somebody is purposely holding with holding their emotions that they have for the other person, pretending to be happy. But somebody could be reflecting on this. They could be reflecting on this, Leo. Somebody could be looking at something close that Yeah, this is it could be you realizing that this person is a karmic or you're realizing that it could just be saying you woke up and you learned your lesson with this person. Yep, this person was holding back their love because they didn't want a relationship. Even though you brought a lot of, you know, balance in this person's life, Leo, this is somebody that chose to hold on to a third party, a karmic, and they pretend to be happy. But they know that they need to let go of these karmics, too, in order to be with you. And some of y'all have their own family. It may not be a relationship, but I, I feel like they're still holding on to karmics in, in regards of like sexual connections. They is. I'm not going to lie. They is. But <clears throat> I feel like also that some of y'all there could have been family that didn't want y'all to be in together or their friends or their karmics that they're dealing with. But I feel like you definitely got over this person for the most part. You could be healing or you're getting over this person and healing. Some of y'all got to the point where y'all don't even want the relationship with this person. You not, Like I said, you don't love this person no more because you're seeing this person for what it really is. You see that this person still dealing with karmic for y'all. Yeah, this is somebody that misjudged you. We got judging reversed. They made a poor judgment call on you. Yup. But they're not happy. This is somebody that knows they're not happy. Let me take both of them. Yeah. This is, they're not happy in the connections that they are in with somebody or a group of people. Some of y'all did not say family played a part in this situation. Their family didn't want y'all being together. But th like I said, they're not happy with whoever it is that they're living with. Or they're not happy with their family about making a decision for them. Or, um, yeah, it could be the person that they are involved with. They're not happy. But it's like your person ain't making no changes to get out of that situation either. They feel stuck in making changes. <coughs> they're just not ready to change for them, obviously crazy because in their mind they really do hold on to the thought of being happy with you Leo and coming back you know but they got other people that is in the mix of the situation you know holding on to them and it's crazy and you know what's crazy also crazy because they don't want to change this person experiencing some struggles them not want to make changes They feel like something is too difficult or they feel like they can't make changes because it's too difficult. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Yeah, somebody is laying down law in this situation. 
or this could just be you like I said because they didn't want to change and they made things so difficult it's like you are standing in your power right now some of y'all this person is struggling with their stability because I did say from the beginning that they only hold on to these karmics is because of financial gain that's the only reason why they are not they have not changed yet they're sleeping with them still they exchanging sex and money with these people or this person if they live with somebody because I'm seeing that with the justice card right here the lovers in the justice card but it's also telling me that whoever that they're messing around with and whatever or whoever that was against you and being with them there will be justice with these karmics there will be some type of karma at play in their family so not only for them not being able to choose you because of other people there is going to be something where the lovers and the karmics is going to you know get karma for what they have done the scales are going to be balanced regardless to the family the karmics and you know what I'm saying? Whoever else played a part in this situation. It could be their friends too. But like I said, because they ain't making no changes, they're going to struggle. Trying to control every goddamn thing. Seeing everything. Yep, their life is going to get out of order. Some Everybody that was against y'all being together, Leo, shit is about to come crumbling down. Shit is about to get out of alignment. Yep. They're not going to be able to have control over this situation for too long. They're going to be upset due to the people that was trying to control them. Because their life could be going down so, so bad, right? Downhill so bad. They're going to be upset over the simple fact that other people didn't want y'all to be together, Leo. And it's crazy because they loved you the whole time. It was influences. It says the ability, skill, or capacity to do something or control and influence over other people's actions, judgment, or emotions. Yes. Those karmics wanted to have some control over y'all connection, Leo. Knowing that this person loved you the whole entire time. I feel like you, when you was in this life, this person's life, I feel like you did. They was on the right path for a minute. But they got slid back into the same shit. They have it. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, um, I'm also hearing, um, I'm hearing follow the leader. You know, they could have been like, come on, man, don't worry about her. You know, you know, just enjoy your life. F her. You know, some people were saying stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And your person fell into it. But I, I am seeing that whoever your person dealing with, though, they don't love them. And, and for the most part, there really is not a loving relationship over there. Even if they have to pretend, you know, they don't love them. They're not technically in their eyes. They're not with them. They're not. They only did it for some type of fair exchange. To make them happy. And to gain, to make themselves happy. And like I said, it's not to really make themselves happy. It's to gain some type of stability. Like, but more, more so, it's to make other people happy. Because they really don't need their money. They really don't need their sex. This is somebody that satisfies their sexual lovers, their karmic friends and family over you. This is sad. And maybe they even laughed in your face about it, you know, and thought it was funny. And I'm talking about the karmics. Some of y'all, your person probably played, played along with them. But your person was aware of the simple fact that these people wasn't good for them, that they were dark, that they were toxic. Your person knew the whole time that what they were getting themselves into and who they chose and over you, they was karmics. They was toxic. They were haters. To be honest, highly aware of the simple fact that they was haters, though. But your your person chose to satisfy those people instead of going for what they really wanted. Yeah, you was misjudged. They didn't make the right decision. Now they're unhappy. 
with these people, family, friends. They're not making no moves. They feel like they can't make no moves. Nothing has changed. They're struggling, you know, and it's like it was all for control. Your person was being controlled by their karmic whores, their karmic friends, and their karmic family. I'm telling you, listen to other people. Now their life is out of order. But everybody is going to be serving some form of bad karma because even your person, I'm sorry, but your person is too and because they are. Who they chose over you, they're going to be serving that karma too. Plus the people that they that came against you of y'all being together. The scales is gonna be even. Period. All right. Gum coming out of my mouth. Piece of gum coming out of my mouth. Okay, hold on one second, y'all. Okay, my bad. But yes. It's like your person is in the background really suffering, pretending to be happy with these people, but they're struggling at the same time because they listen to them. Like I said, this could be a Libra, a Gemini, a Pisces, or another water sign or earth sign that you was dealing with. Some of you guys, your person could be taking back control of this situation and walking away from the past, Leo. Yeah, because they don't love them. They don't trust them. They don't trust them. They don't love them. Like I said, they can't get ahead. They're not making no progress. They can't move. You know, yeah, they're walking away from people that's holding them back, Leo, and they're coming back around. Your person eventually will come back around. Because like I said, when you was in this person's life, you made their life better. They was blessed. They was on top of their game. They Everything was in alignment. You know, it's like soon as they made a decision based on other people's happiness and what they should to, you know, what they should do, it's like their life starts to fall apart. Yeah, this is somebody that you have detached yourself from. Maybe you could be coming off as cold. But the truth is, some of y'all may have ended it with this person and, and just decided to focus on, your, on yourself. But expect this person to reach out anyways, Leo. Because they feel guilty. They didn't get away with choosing them and, you know, being, I can't even say deceptive. They kind of probably was deceptive, especially if they was going along with it, knowing that's not what they really wanted. They were wearing a mask. You see what I'm saying? They was feeling guilty, you know, and it's like they want to let go of anything that has, like, burdened them. They want to completely let it go. They want to make things a lot more easier, yup. Did not say they letting go anything that was a burden to them. It was these karmics and these family and these friends they were holding on to. They're walking away from them. And it's crazy because these people, they didn't respect your person's boundaries or anything. You know what I'm saying? So some of you guys, they're walking away from a third party and or just karmics in general and letting their guard down. Okay, let's pull an oracle card. That's crazy. Your person was controlled about controlled over karmic karmic whores and karmic family. That it that was very much jealous of y'all relationship y'all had with each other because they know that you brought them peace. They know that you made their life more balanced. They was on the right path, but people was hating. I just keep seeing that. Haters, toxic ass, hating ass, family and friends and lovers. That's exactly what I'm getting. That's exactly what I'm getting. So at this point, your person knows they need to make some moves right now. They, they trying to figure some things out, Leo, on how to come together with you. How to get back in alignment with you, Leo. So some of you guys, when y'all come together, y'all got a decision to make whether you're going to choose this person to be with this person or not. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, Leo, and y'all take care.